Hello, beloved subscribers and new viewers. Welcome to Task Storytime. If you are new to my channel, support me by subscribing to my channel and ringing that notification bell to join me on my journey. Where is God? In a small, cozy cafe nestled on the corner of a quiet street, Sarah sat down with her laptop. She was diligently working on a wildlife documentary for a client. She needed to finish the project, but the conclusion eluded her. She pondered it for a moment but soon grew weary. As she waited for her friend David to arrive for their weekly catch-up, she decided to order a coffee. When the coffee arrived, David joined Sarah. He noticed that Sarah had ordered a coffee, so he decided to order one for himself. They both began discussing their past week. Sarah started by talking about her documentary and the challenges she was facing. As they chatted, their coffees were brought to their table. They had always been close friends, sharing their thoughts on life, love, and everything in between. On this particular evening, their conversation took an introspective turn as they contemplated a profound question, where is God? Sarah, sipping her coffee, began, David, have you ever wondered where God is? I mean, we talk about God, pray to God, but where is God really? David, stirring his coffee thoughtfully, replied, that's a deep question, Sarah. Some say God is everywhere, in everything. Others believe God resides in the heavens above. It's a matter of personal faith, isn't it? Sarah leaned in, her eyes searching David's for answers. But how can God be everywhere and nowhere at the same time? It's perplexing, isn't it? Sometimes, it feels like we're chasing a mystery. David smiled gently. You know, Sarah, maybe the search for God isn't about finding a location on a map. Perhaps it's about discovering God within ourselves and in the world around us. Like the warmth of the sun on our skin or the kindness we show to others. Sarah nodded, absorbing David's words. So, you're saying that God is in the beauty of nature, in the love we share, and in the moments of kindness we experience? David nodded in agreement. Exactly. God might not be a physical entity we can point to, but rather a presence that surrounds us. It's in the laughter of children, the embrace of a loved one, and the awe-inspiring wonders of the universe. Sarah smiled, a sense of peace washing over her. I think I'm beginning to understand, David. Maybe the search for God is about recognizing the divine in the everyday moments of life. As the evening sun dipped below the horizon, Sarah and David continued their conversation, no longer searching for a specific location or form of God. Instead, they found comfort in the idea that God could be found in the kindness of strangers, the love of family, and the beauty of the world around them. When Sarah and David were about to leave, Milana, the cashier, approached them and asked if they had concluded that God might not be real. Sarah and David exchanged puzzled glances, taken aback by the unexpected question. Milana quickly realized she had overheard their conversation and offered an apology. David replied, Oh, don't worry about it. He then continued, Well, since you brought it up, let me take this opportunity to share something I once heard from a friend. The analogy involved fish, but given that we're here with coffee beans, I'll use that for the explanation. He requested some coffee beans from Milana, who then asked Ella to retrieve them for David. David received the coffee beans from Ella and spread them out on the table. He began to explain, saying, Imagine that these coffee beans are alive and inhabit this table. Now, these coffee beans only comprehend four directions, front, back, right, and left. They lack an understanding of up and down. However, you and I are aware of what lies beneath the table and above the roof of this building, or at least we have some concept of it. He continued, Now if I were to pick up one of these coffee beans, step outside this coffee shop for a stroll down the street, and then return it to its group after a while, what do you think that coffee bean could say about something it cannot comprehend? The issue here is that the coffee bean can only grasp two-dimensional objects, like the table it lives on. When introduced to a three-dimensional world, it simply cannot comprehend it. Similarly, we, as humans, exist in a three-dimensional world, while God resides in a higher dimension. That's why some struggle to understand God. Ella appeared to have grasped the concept, 
but Milana still harbored doubts about believing in God. David responded, saying, Well, it seems you might be a non-believer. That's perfectly fine, you don't have to believe in God. However, do you at least believe in energy? Milana nodded in agreement, confirming her belief in energy. David continued, Great. Energy is, in essence, God. Without energy, nothing can exist. I am using energy to speak, and you are utilizing energy to hear and process my words in your mind. This white table is constructed from wood, which consists of carbon atoms. Atoms are often referred to as the fundamental building blocks of matter. Processes like nuclear fission and fusion demonstrate the presence of energy within an atom. Nuclear bombs are based on these principles. And when we look at the entire universe, what is it composed of? It's made up of atoms. Therefore, the universe is brimming with stable energy. David caught his breath for a moment and whispered, and we are only safe as long as the energies remained stable. In that small cafe, they realized that the quest to understand God was not about locating a specific place, but about embracing the profound and mysterious presence of the divine in every aspect of their lives. God is energy. God is in you. God is in me. God is in everything. God is everywhere and nowhere at the same time. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, giving it a like would make me happy. You might also be interested in my book, Automotion, The Fission of Emotion, published under the name Scorpion King Tail on Amazon. You can find the link to this book in the video description. Thank you for joining me in this video. If you liked this video, dropping a like would make me happy. Please do drop your comments in the comments section about what do you think about God. To watch more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. The universe is abundant, and let us all search for our purpose within it.